Hi oh yeah, guys, in this video I'm going to explain what ship based launchers are and how they work. Uh, this is a new feature added in 2.2. Um, for this you're going to need a specific type of ship to even install the module on. Uh, there's I think seven ships you can install it is. Uh, I think the kill the killback's possible, uh, the Booger Liner, the Anaconda, the Federal Corvette, the Imperial Cutter, uh, the Type 9, uh, I think there's one more. Uh, anyway, you need one of those ships to be able to do it. So once you've got the right ship, we need to go into the outfitting section. So under the outfitting section, we want to go to optional internals. Uh, then simply pick uh, internal compartment. Now if your ship's capable of doing it, you should see the option of a fighter hang here. Uh, usually there is actually two choices with fighter hangar. There's a, I think it's a 6D as well, and that allows you to carry two fighters instead of just one. Uh, you can't use two fighters at the same time. It just means if the, you lose the first one, you can deploy a second one. At the moment, I'm not, don't think that's going to change because it's down to a gameplay sort of uh, thing and a balancing. Anyway, so let's uh, buy this module. Uh, once we've bought the module, you see an uh, empty fighter slot. So what we need to do is to press the button here and browse. Now on this page, we're given a list of fighters. Um, there's the GU-97, uh, the F-63 Condor, which is the one you see in close quarters combat, I think, and then the Taipan. Now, we, they're quite a big list of ones here. Uh, basically, all they do is they've got different equipment on board. Uh, this one here, see, has got two gimbal beam. Uh, this one's got do gimbal pulse. Uh, this has got two fixed on it, and so on. So let's uh, just pick one. So I'm probably going to go for the GU. I think. Let's go for that one. Now, because they bear in mind the prices are uh, a lot lower than they normally were. Uh, this is because it's beta and to allow people to test stuff. Right, so now we've got that done, there's something else to do. Uh, we need to hire a crew member. This is so they can pilot the other ship because potentially you've got two ships flying. So let's uh, come out of this section. Uh, you're given a notice to say you haven't got any active crew, that's what we're just going to sort out. So what next we need to do is come into the crew lounge. Uh, there's on the right is the possible ships that you can actually fit a hangar to. Uh, I missed the federal gunship to be honest. So you can fit the hangar to the Anaconda, the Beluga, Beluga Liner, the Federal Corvette, the Federal Gunship, the Imperial Cutter, the Killback and the Type 9. Anyway, so what we need to do is to hire a crew member. Uh, we've got a few options here. Um, the more skilled they are, the more they will cost initially. You can rank them up on your own. Um, that is a way of actually getting them cheaper as such. Um, they will cost money and you notice at the top there's a profit share percentage. Uh, I'm not entirely sure exactly what that means. Um, obviously they will take a percentage of profit but what exactly that is I'm not entirely sure but it doesn't really matter for the time being. So let's uh, pick somebody. So let's pick this person and let's hire them and confirm it. So once we've done that, they're on the list up here and they're inactive. So what we need to do is to make them active. So let's uh, set them active. So now they're on the right hand side of the page and they're set as an active uh, crew member. Uh, now you can check this uh, on the option below and we can see our various options here. We've got our helm which is our main ship. Uh, then we've got our one fighter and then we've got our crew member who's aboard so let's uh, get into space and I can actually show you how this works like I said you can only do it on the uh, certain ships which is a little bit of a shame but I guess there's uh, certain reasons to it Sure, what happened there? So, 
Okay, I will need to get away from the station because I don't want them going hostile on me. Uh, obviously, I'll show you weapons and I want to show you how it works. Okay, so I won't have to get that far from the station. It just, uh, like I said, just getting a little bit away just helps. So now we're away from the station. Uh, so what we can do is if we come down to the bottom here, uh, we go to, you can actually go to all, or we can pick our fire directly. Um, if we come to here and press it, we got the option of deploying it so if we deploy it now we're given an option of who to control this ship we can either fly it ourselves or we can use our NPC to fly it uh, in this example I'm going to just fly it myself which means that the base ship should be flown by the other person uh, essentially what happens that you will fly this fighter. If your fighter gets destroyed, you will kind of teleport back to your main ship. If your main ship gets destroyed, um, you basically leave. That's game over. Which is, I think, is a little bit of a shame in some ways. I would have liked to have seen that the fighter would have been able to get back home on its own. Um, it would have kind of reminded me of the kind of escape pop, uh, module that you used to have in the very old elites. Sort of getting home on something that's. It's going a bit. So uh, we've got control of our fighter, and obviously what we can do is we can give uh, commands to our other um, to our other ship because it's being flown by the enemy. If we go down to orders, uh, we can tell them to defend the point or attack a target or just attack everything or just to follow sort of behind in a set formation. Uh, we can tell them to hold position. So let's just tell them to hold. Whatever you say, commander. Until you return. I said your ship will be vulnerable as such. I don't seem to be holding very well. Oh, there you go. Your main ship is vulnerable when you're um, in the other ship, and like I said, if it gets destroyed, it's basically game over. Um, what you can also do is to switch back. So if we go back to helm and we go to switch to mother ship. Now we switched around and the NPC is now flying the ship and we control the base ship. So if we tell the fighter and give it an order to um, let's tell it to recall so that it comes back. On my way, Commander. Fighter retrieval commencing. Let's have a look at the external, see if we can see something. Docking completed. Hangar is secure, Commander. Don't know if we can, actually. Might have already landed, but... Anyway, so that is basically what they do and how they work. Um, there's quite a bit of setting up, and like I said, you have to have a Pacific ship capable of actually having a hangar section to it. Um, that's why you may not find that every you may not find the option anyway guys hopefully that's explained what they do and how they work if it's helped like and subscribe always helps me guys uh, thanks guys for watching and take care